Hello everyone, this is Ronnie Peter and I am doing data science course at IB Professional School under Kolkata branch. So as a criteria to complete my SQL project, so I have come up with a small research project. So this research project is a, 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 a talks about student performance, a case study. So talking about the contents, so I'll introduce the data set and SQL and then objectives of the study. And then further, I shall discuss analysis and findings and, and conclusion of the study. And lastly, the bibliography. So coming uh, to the introduction of the data set, the data has been taken from Kaggle. So this data consists of two tables. So performance of the students and race of the students. Performance of the student contains these variables, ID of the students, gender of the students, sub uh, categories are male and female, parental level of education, we shall uh, see the sub categories in SQL, and the lunch facility, the sub categories are standard lunch provided, which means students have to pay for it, and free or reduced, concession given. Test preparation course. Test preparation course uh, also uh, there are two subcategories whether completed and not taken means none. Math score, reading score, and the writing score of, of the particular students. Then race of the students. This table contains ID of the students, which means the ID in the performance is the primary key for that particular table. And ID, that particular ID uh, works as foreign key in the table of race of the students. And the race have a different groups, group A, group B, group C, and so on. The case study, here uh, talking about the SQL is the structured query language. So we formulate some queries and answer those queries. So these two tables have 1,000 observations, means 1,000 students. The students belong to primary school and we will anal analyze using SQL. So this research proje project focuses more on using SQL, but all we will also show uh, some graphs to Excel and the PowerPoint presentation. And so this contains all kinds of graphs and stuff. So coming to the objective of the study. So this, um, the major objective and the primary objective is to know the influence of the test preparation course taken by the students on the test score, which, which are math score, reading and writing scores. And the second is to establish other, other findings using SQL scripts and, and showing them uh, through Excel graphs and uh, on PPT. So let us create our database and come to our SQL. So create database is the command create database perform underscore stud this is a database which contains tables like select star from race and select star from performance where we have imported through import wizard so we do it here table data import wizard and we have taken performance and race where it was a csv file so when we select our select star for performance we see this data and we talk about different parental education. So when we want to see different parental education, it's a select distinct particular parental education because the and the data or, or everything is jumbled. So if we don't put distinct, so it will be a problem. So it will show all the entire data. So let us. Uh, come to how many students are there as we as I discussed that there are 1000 observations. So in SQL also it shows 1000 observations. So let us find how many male and female students are there. So for checking for how many male students are there. So the command is select count within brackets ID. So I'm counting the ID. So from performance table, 
where gender is equal to male. So I want to see just for the male students. 482 and how many female for the same the same command just we have to put female there are 518 it means female are more than male so here and uh, this graph represents the male and female students where female are 52 percent and male are 48 percent so coming to the uh, lunch provided so we'll talk how many standard lunch provided the count of standard lunch provided and free or reduced lunch provided facility so we want to count how many standard lunch so the command is select count so counting the lunch where the lunch is standard it is 645 and how many free or reduced concession given is 355. So standard is more. So we want to see now how many male students are given standard lunch, which means they have to pay for it, which means no free or concession. So the count is 316. And how many are provided Free, free or reduced concession given to the male students is 166. So we come to the graph. Facilities of lunch provided to male students, standard are more than free or reduced or concession given. 66% standard and 34% free or reduced. So we'll do the same thing for the female to select counts star counting how many standard are given to the females so it will give me the total number of females it is 329 and to how many females it is concession given it is 189 it is less so this uh, graph pre represents a lunch provided to female students standard which is 64% and free or reduced is 36%. So we'll talk about number of male uh, <clears throat> test taken course. So the counts are how many males and where test preparation is completed. So how many males have completed the test preparation? It is 174. And how many have not completed? So we'll just... Uh, and the test preparation is equal to within single uh, quotation, we will write none. So do have those who have not taken the test preparation code is 308. So for the female, we'll see how many have taken the test preparation course, which means completed its test preparation course. It is counting the female students and test preparation who have completed. So it is 184 and those who have not, the female students who have not taken it is 334. So we'll go to the graph. So for male students who have taken the test preparation course is 36% and not taken is 64%. Moreover, female students who have taken the test preparation is same as males, 36%, and not taken 64%. We can see it is both for male and female students. So coming to the next. So when we see this average mark score, we want to see average math score for separately for female and female students. First, the uh, without uh, those who have taken the test preparation course. So just normally we want to check what is the average math score. So select average, we want to see for the math score and to this we are assigning a new name, average underscore math underscore score. So I want to also see minimum math score as min marks as a new, new name for that variable from the performance table. It is 66. So coming to this, 
average score in maths of male students who have taken the test preparation course. So just added average math score as average marks and gender we want to see test preparation from performance where gender is equal to male we want to see for the male and test preparation is equal to completed. So the average marks is 72 and those who have not taken the test preparation just we have to rewrite it as none. It is 66 to average marks declines. We see for the see, do the same procedure for the female students, just the same, where gender is equal to female and com test preparation completed. It is uh, 67.1. And those who have not, we'll rewrite the test preparation as none. It is 61. So here in the graph, we see for the male who have completed the 72 and those who have not taken the average marks declines to 66. For the female also, it is 67. The female students who have taken the test preparation course and not taken the, the average marks declines to 61. So we'll see for the reading uh, score, the average, uh, Average reading score normally is to be 69. The select average of reading score, new name for the variable, this particular variable, average reading score, and minimum reading score as min marks. So when we see for particular male students who have completed the test preparation course, it is 70. Uh, not much deviation, but just one marks. And for the male students who have not taken the test preparation course, it is 62, so it, it declines. And for the female students who have taken the test preparation course for reading, it is 77, pretty high than average. And those who are the female have not taken to 69, it remains the same, more or less same. So according to the graph, we see for female have scored more than male, 70 for male who have completed the test preparation and 62 when they have not. So it declines. And for the female when taken a test preparation is 77 and not done the preparation test preparation, it is 69. So when we see for the average uh, writing score without any gender and the, or uh, any kind of uh, other kind of, so average uh, writing score is 68. So when we involve constraint, gender constraint, when male, Add in average writing score as average marks given new name to this variable. Gender test preparation from performance where gender is equal to male. And test preparation who have completed. It is 69. So from 68 average, then male have to completed the 69. Not much, just one marks. And for the male who have not taken from 68, it declines to 59 and the female students who have taken the test preparation course for writing it is 78 pretty high and the female who have not taken the test preparation course for writing it is it remains the same 68 so here for male students the average score as a whole declines when test preparation is not taken so coming to different before that we'll also talk about parental education given according to gender majority of the students their parents have some college degree specifically it is not mentioned but some college the highest some college and the least parents or students have master degree and the second highest goes for associate degree 
So now I want to see how many male students belong to the race group. So maximum and minimum. So we'll see, we want to generate a table. So we want to, from performance, I want to assign a P and race, R for race and P for performance, where we select count P gender. So I want to count gender from this performance P as new name for the variables and number of males. And from the another table, which is race, R, R for race, where gender I want to see for male and P dot ID is equal to R dot ID because student ID is common uh, variable in both tables. So we uh, put a equal sign uh, just for to join uh, these two tables. So join works there where we want to extract information when information uh, is lying in another table. So group by race because we want to see total number of males in different kind of groups. Group A, uh, this many, this much, group B, this much, and so on and so forth. So we, when we run this, we get this. So group A, 53, group to group C, 139, group B, uh, 86, and uh, group D, 133, and uh, to group E, 71, and the most I belongs to group C. We'll talk about it. And just for the female, if you want to see everything remaining the same, but the count of gender becomes new variable as number of females. And where gender is equal to female and everything remains the same, the most of the female students belong to a group C of race and ethnicity. So different race according to gender. So most of the students belong to group C, uh, which is, I guess, uh, American, Indo-American and African group. And basically it is group C. So coming to the conclusion, according to the objective, the test preparation has a positive impact on test scores. scores and uh, the test preparation course leads to higher marks and the average marks also increases. Free and reduced lunch provided to me, both male and students are more or less the same. And the test preparation taken by male and female students are same. And the majority of the parents for both male and females, most of the parents have some college degree as I discussed earlier. And most of the students for uh, most of the students for both male and female belong to group C of race and ethnicity. So uh, I end up here by showing and uh, from uh, the link for for Kaggle for, for this data set where I've taken. So I really thank for your attention. Thank you. Thank you.